Sleep apnea is a quite prevalent condition. And depending on the studies, the statistics and, and the countries, it affects roughly between 7 and 30% of the population, uh, being more prevalent, three times more prevalent in males than in females. And it gets worse with age and of course with uh, obesity. One of the main reasons for sleep apnea is the altered position of the jaws. When the maxilla and the mandible are behind the correct position, this typically provokes a collapse on the airway. So the tube through which the air flows gets smaller, especially at night when the patient is laying down, and it tends to collapse. And this provokes apnea episodes. So if a patient has up to 15 episodes, it is considered mild sleep apnea. If it happens to have between 15 and 30, it would be a moderate sleep apnea. And beyond 30, it's considered a severe sleep apnea. Now, the only potential curative treatment for a moderate and severe sleep apnea is maxillomandibular advancement with repositioning of the bones and simultaneous stretching of the airway. So what happens when we advance the maxilla and the mandible is that we move forward the anterior wall of the airway, making it significantly bigger than it was previously. The good news is that this happens immediately after the surgery.